this has sort of uh, come to confession time. Uh, the last day to enter in the competition. And uh, I have to say, I have all the bits and pieces working uh, as uh, individuals here and there, but as a combination, the uh, thing hasn't worked out for me. However, I will explain in closing uh, why I have entered the competition and uh, let Rob do with it as he sees fit. Generate electricity with water, by means of water, Rob said. Welcome, hello, my name is Fossey and I want to tell you a wee little tale today. My problem is, how do I, me, a prize fighter waffler, get this story told to you in the shortest possible time? Yes, about creating this thing called my generator and for what purpose I want to use it. I live at the sea. I wondered how to do a bit of tidal. Racked my brain. Then I thought of a seawater battery. Uh, copper and nickel as electrodes. And then Rob said, no, 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 we need motion. If you can generate it via motion, different story. Then I thought, could I use LPs or CDs or something? Rob has used CDs to make a Alchemy's screw. This only really flows after severe storms. So I would have to build a dam here and carry all the stuff from there and whatever. Uh, I didn't think that would work. So I paid it a lot more thought. And then uh, interneting, I found uh, a few different things, but uh, I sort of thought to myself, I'm not going to go and reinvent the wheel. Uh, show you the build and show you the operation. Maybe you'll like what you see. Maybe it won't work and I'll be doomed, but I'm sure it will work. So this is me prophesying my own uh, success. To see if I could construct this thing. I've spoken way more than enough I'm going to say. Uh, in advance, thank you for enjoying my success with me. Two things that I found on the, while interneting and after interneting and they serve the function. This is the little pump that will uh, pump sufficient fluid water, whatever, to turn the turbine. And you have seen the turbine turning, or you will see the turbine turning, whatever. The other item is this little beauty. Because look here now. Can you see that? There we go. This is the little motor I bought, and it arrived. I thought for illustration purposes they had attached the, the, the LED, but they didn't. They sent it like this. So there you go. I don't have to reinvent the wheel at all. Those are two of the key element items. And I'll show you when it's all assembled and how we got to where we are thus far. So how do we assemble this turbine? Uh, this, as you can recognize, is a, uh, a PC fan. I've done lots and lots of wee trials and experiments. Um, uh, this is screw threaded, obviously, so you can see the nuts. Um, and all the spaces that I've produced and the, the lock nuts for the bottom. So I've changed that now to a thin aluminium rod to make it lighter to make this turbine spin easy lock the, the turbine to that as well and then we can build this and build it into there and then we can get this thing operational there you have it assembled the shaft is assembled containing a turbine to be spun inside the housing and 
all will become clearer in a few seconds time like that in there we have mounted the turbine yes i promise you can see the wetness because we have done this now watch ya watch ya watch now i'm gonna have to drill a hole in the side here somewhere and mount a jet because the turbine is a spinning yes a spinning it is uh why did i want to use four inch mostly four inch pvc pipe well simply uh i wanted to put good use to the turbine i just didn't want to build something and then it lies around forever so i've been researching hydroponics this is not about hydroponics this is not about the construction of the hydroponics this is about using the pump to drive the turbine for the two well there's really three but let me mention two up front uh in hydroponics you need aeration of water you need the water to be oxygenated uh, so I thought, what better way than instead of sticking another pump, an air pump, into the the containment vessel, is how about spinning a turbine with the water that you have to supply to the top of the towers the, to do the aeration. Now, I might be wrong, but this is a theory that I have to put to the test. The second one then, with the LED, is I can at a brief glance... Um, see if all is still well if the circulation is still circulating and then the third and key reason I will discuss uh, towards the end of this video when I do the record. after many hours of fettling and fidgeting and fiddling it spins yes it does you see I have inserted a nozzle here's the pump here's the tube that's the fitting this is my little workstation where i have fun so i will be installing this our little generator is lying here somewhere amongst the, the debris as they say in the classics that pops in there it fits in tightly but I first have to do a few more checks and balances before we install the lid. Fortunately, the boss isn't at home. So there's the pump on the bottom yeah. there. There's our nozzle attached. There's our turbine sitting on top of a bucket so that the water doesn't go all over the place. Um, it's pouring outside. So I'm using the, the shower. Here goes. I'm going to switch it, switch on or attach our little pump. So give me a second there to do that. One handed. A few modifications later and she spins. And boy does she spin. Okay, so now what we need to do is put the lid on and after putting the lid on, install the generator and off we go making LED light up. But I'm cheating, it's being driven by the drill as a just to prove that it's working but it is working look sorry i haven't got enough hands look there for me i mentioned halfway through the video or somewhere through the video that uh, there were three reasons why i uh, took this on and wanted to do it and be part of this uh, i've mentioned one and two so we won't go there number three is key it is the mental stimulation the, i need mental stimulation all the time if i don't have mental stimulation i am going to rot and that's the key to me and that's why i'm bothering to send this off after all the hours 
of spending the time uh, and having the fun, and that's what it's about, the mental stimulation to, 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 to allow a person to a release, and that I thank Rob for. Uh, I obviously am not eligible to be part of the competition, but if Rob feels like using this video as a demonstration to say that there are some of us that are, uh, endeavor to endeavor, uh, that'll be grand. I would like to show others that it's possible to learn new skills and to apply these skills and in the process develop more skills. And that's it. Thank you, Rob. Thank you all. Cheers. Stay safe, stay free and be happy. Bye-bye.